Okay, this is a continuation from my um, previous video. This is uh, probably going to be the last. It'll probably be a third part, uh, three part series here on how to use uh, um, Free Commander. Um, not to be confused with Total Commander. And um, if uh, you're interested in the uh, website. Okay, I, this is the website. If you're interested in the website, uh, www.freecommander.com, that's where you can download this uh, program, and it does a lot more than this little tutorial on how to synchronize um, that I have covered. And, okay, to continue, the um, in the last tutorial I finished up and I compared uh, two different directories. The um, It was a My Documents... Uh, uh, directory on my C drive that I compared with the My Documents directory that I created on a D drive, which we were pretending would be a USB drive. Um, now, there's an important thing to uh, to notice here, and I'm going to exit out of uh, uh, the actual synchronize thing here and bring back up those two directories. When I uh, synchronized this, um, it copied over everything, and that's because um, uh, every single one of these directories had something in it. Um, I'm going to um, uh, quickly show you what happens. I'll uh, delete everything inside the uh, D drive and um, empty this uh, test file that I had placed here in the D drive on on the uh, excuse me on the C drive under my documents, just to give you an example of what happens. And so you have the my documents here on the C and the my documents on the D. And then I synchronize it, and I'm going to make sure that just the um, left compare, file to copy from left to right, is selected. Again, I'm ignoring two-second delay because of uh, the very little time that I'm uh, doing uh, these uh, files in. Um, and I have uh, with subfolders, because I want everything in the subfolders to be compared. Um, and then I click on compare and uh, this is going to copy all of these items from left to right and uh, then I'll go ahead and after I've compared it and this is what I want then I will go ahead and synchronize um, only the top left to right uh, the target folder is the D drive and it's going to copy and we clicked OK everything's been taken over but if I bring up these two uh, folders again, notice the downloads directory was not um, done because it uh, was not copied over because it is empty. It is empty and Free Commander does not copy over empty directories. So that might um, confuse you if you've not, um, uh, don't have a lot of experience with um, uh, various backup tools, synchronization tools, because uh, there's a lot of programs that do that sort of thing and a lot of programs have that as just an option, but as far as I know so far, um, uh, Free Commander by, um, by default does not. But if you want it to be copied over, all you have to do is add a, uh, um, add a folder in it of some kind, test.txt, and, um, and this is already up, so it notices that, if you already have the synchronization up, it notices that something's changed. But for the purposes of this, I'm going to cancel this, and cancel that so you're back to the free commander window because when you come back from the library or wherever you are whatever other computer that you're working on you bring your USB drive in you're not going to have free commander already up you're going to start it and then you're going to bring up the two directories that you want to synchronize hopefully you'll do the same way whatever way you feel comfortable with um, I always feel comfortable with my source on the left hand side and my target um, uh, on the right, and I always consider my uh, C drive um, as my source. That's a personal preference, and I always consider my USB um, drive or whatever thing that I'm attaching to my computer as my um, as my target, even if I'm actually copying stuff from it, and uh, that helps it to be less confusing for me. And um, okay, so I'm going to synchronize that and. Uh, uh, just check my settings. I always check them every time. Compare, and it's just going. To, it only notices that one has been changed, and then I synchronize it. It's going to copy over. Okay, that's done. I bring up the two directories for you to compare, 
and there you go. You have a downloads directory now, and it has both of it in there. And um, the if um, uh, if I cancel out this, and let's say we've come back from the library, and um, we change the uh, this test file to um, um, notes, um, then or actually let's uh, not change the uh, title of it, let's do something that's more um, common and we uh, actually I use something called Programmer's Notepad which is a little bit different than Notepad but uh, you'll be using Notepad so let me just uh, open it up in Notepad and um, uh, my to-do list um, called a friend called a friend repented okay whatever you want to put there save it and this is where the um, the amount of time that you ignore in the time delay which I'm going to show you uh, becomes important um, and I'm only using two second time delay because uh, of the, like I said, the relatively small difference. So, um, just so you know, um, my C drive uh, has nothing in it, and my mock USB drive um, does have something in it, and I'm going to synchronize this with Free Commander. You brought it up, you just came back from the library or whatever other computer you were working at, and uh, then you click on synchronize and this time your USB drive is on the right hand side so you're going to be synchronizing from the right to the left so I'm going to deselect the, um, the uh, copy from left to right um, one and uh, uh, here once again up to two second uh, ignore up to one hour you can put on there if there's a big difference um, in the time that you last synchronized. Uh, so I click on compare and now it's saying that it wants to copy from right to left. It notices that something that uh, the date, the time is changed so it says, it says that these files are different. And then I click on synchronize and this time um, this time at the bottom, and sorry about uh, a couple minutes ago, um, I didn't put it in the window uh, there, and I want to put this in the window so you can see it. Um, but this time the um, uh, the right it copies from right to left, and the only thing selected is copy, and it's on the bottom half, which is caught doing the copying from right to left and I click on OK and it's gone and now I can bring up those two directories and you can now see that uh, this is my original um, so it has everything and I'm going to bring up the copy and you can see that it did a uh, successful job of making it identical. Hope you have uh, you're able to use this. If you have any questions just uh, send me, uh, make a comment on my uh, YouTube and I will uh, get it or if you happen to be a friend of mine you know my email address so uh, you can send me an email uh, take care and um, God bless